What's up collection of Transformers Enthusiasts? Today I'm gonna finally be taking a look at Transformers Studio Series 76 Boyger Thrust. As always, taking a really quick look at the packaging, we got a nice Transformers logo on the side, series just on the bottom, the name, we got a nice image of him with the 76, we got an awesome display as well. The displays are going to be pretty much irrelevant on the future, it's going to be all image, you know, but it is what it is. On the side, we got the same image with the Studio Series and 76 on the top, and on the back, we got to catch a Romo and Vehicle Mo, as well as 30 steps in your Transformer, you can also appreciate the background. Uh, but for the opposite side, you can see, you know, the same image that we got, you know, on the front, but just on a bigger scale. And Transformers Bumblebee on the top, but that's pretty much it for the whole thing. So, without further ado, let's get into it. And here we have Transformers Studio Series 76 Boyger Thrust in hand and all the packaging. And oh my god, this guy looks amazing! I want them all, I want them to keep releasing Seekers because they look amazing. Thundercracker, Skywarp, imagine all of them together, they're gonna look incredible on a display. This guy, though, is not 100% accurate, so it's like a 9 out of 10 on accuracy due to a couple of decals that he's missing, but it really truly doesn't bother me as much as the face code the face code should be a little bit more darker i've been saying that since the moment i saw him and broke the news uh, but other than that this guy looks incredible with starscream and i just cannot wait to show you how it looks with the rest of the decepticons and autobots i'm not gonna be transforming it or show you the articulation you already know what this guy can offer so just go ahead and compare it give you my dots and color today so without further ado let's jump straight into it starting with the differences that the weapons themselves has and scrolls and the detail are pretty much all the same starting with the starscream in comparison with the thrust one you can see that's pretty much a copy and paste uh, on the color though is the only difference you can see that it has a little bit more glossiness on the start screen one than on the thrust and it's a little bit more glossy of a darker tone as well on the front and obviously this is green and this is blue and that's pretty much the only difference other than that it's pretty much a copy and paste and for the blitzwing one you can see that it's a little bit more smaller obviously it packs differently than the thrust and start screen one and you can see that for the sculpted and detail it's a bit different uh, as well and for the paint distribution is different as well on the bottom you can appreciate you know the, those different pet ports uh that it has uh in comparison with the star screen and the thrust one but other than that that's pretty much it for the weapons themselves and now for the moment you guys have been waiting for boyer thrust himself oh my god man what can i say sculpted in detail and pandas region is as fantastic as star screen was it just overall is a fantastic addition to your bumblebee collection the only thing that really truly bothers me and i don't know if it bothers you but it really truly bothers me is the face go man it should be a little bit more darker and it kind of bothers me that he just looks like Blitzwing. I don't know why, but every time I look at him, I just see Blitzwing, and this may be my first custom figure of all time. I never do that, but for this one, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that because it, it really truly bothers me. For the only differences, obviously, it's this section right here, the cone head itself. But other than that, man, the sculpted in detail, it's just a copy and paste of Star Scream. Focusing a little bit on that and zooming in, so you can appreciate, you know, the cone head itself and the EDBDs of this figure. You can see that really it translates fantastically you know to the actual Romo itself and it actually looks like one piece the articulation is kind of handled a little bit you know due to these speeds uh, you cannot do a 360 degrees with this guy no more and it barely can look to the sides you gotta really force it in there so you know it, you, you can scratch the paint or, or, or do some damage into the figure itself to, to look up it just a little bit but you know it really truly doesn't have the mobility that Starscream was rocking uh, due to the cone head itself but for the sculpted in detail on the entire thing man it it looks amazing just pretty much like a masterpiece the green and the mini uh, dark gray it really looks incredible it kind of looks you know kind of silvery uh, glossy dark gray I don't know how to you know describe it but it looks fantastic this color looks incredible as well and just overall man it's just a fantastic addition man I just cannot uh, recommend you this figure enough for the no red themselves they're pretty much just copy and paste for the star screen one as well and for the wing itself it really really looks good and really accurate to the movie representation if you go ahead and point them downwards it's accurate if you go ahead and point it like star screen upwards it's not accurate at all but on the back so you can you know, appreciate more of that sculpted in detail and paint distribution you can see that no paintage whatsoever on the decepticon logo that's always a plus man and you can see that everything just translates really well i would prefer a little bit more darker of a green color but man it, it, that's just me you know nick picking for the sake of nick picking for example i would have preferred this color over this one it's a little bit more different of a green you know darker tone uh, but again it's just me Nick picking for the sake of Nick picking you can see that it translates really well into the leg itself and this just dark gray looks incredible you know with the 
uh, glossy tone and all that good stuff. Now moving on into the comparison between him and Starscream so you can appreciate the scale as well as the differences that they're rocking. As you can see pretty much everything is just a copy and paste. The only major difference is the face school itself and the addition of the cone thingamajig on the back. But other than that man they look just pretty much exactly the same. You can see you know the weapons, the legs, the shares, uh, the wings themselves. It's pretty much you know a copy and paste of each other. Uh, this if you go ahead and obviously put it like that it's just exactly the same as uh, Starscream itself. But you can see that Starscream has a little bit more of a, a paint deco on the wing itself and it's because Starscream is supposed to have the wing looking up and Thrust is supposed to have the wing looking down and as you can see really really nice uh, attention to detail and it looks fantastic not to mention really accurate to the movie representation on the sides you can see that again the only major difference is the addition of the cone thingamajig on the back of the face goal uh, but other than that man it's exactly the same you can see that it kind of looks weird uh, now that I see it and Starscream doesn't have it it's accurate to you know the character of Starship, but you can see it kind of looks you know hollow there in this one it was kind of meant to be there and on the back you can appreciate you know those uh, uh Decepticon logos it's a little bit more bigger on thrust and on starching it's a little bit more smaller I don't know why I thought they were exactly the same they didn't have to do this but you know it, it really truly doesn't bother me for the back you can see you know the many differences that they're rocking and on the legs and the feet it's pretty much exactly the same from the back and the opposite side it's obviously the same as the previous side and that's pretty much it for the only differences again they're pretty much exactly the same uh the only major differences is obviously the color distribution and the addition of the cone thingamajig itself not to mention the face go and for blitz when you can see that they scale fantastically and they look amazing man really really menacing indeed and this is what i was telling you guys the face goal they're they kind of similar and at the same time they're not because this is smaller and this is a little bit more thicker you know to compensate on the size and that seeker but i just i just see blitzwing on thrust and it's really weird so i'm just gonna go ahead and darken that tone because it's just it looks weird i don't know if it's me so leave that in the comments down below if it's me or you know pretty much you feel the same way but that's pretty much it for them let's go ahead and compare him with the rest of the autobots here we have optimus prime and bumblebee so you guys can see you know how they look and as you can see man they look fantastic they scale really really well together and they look really really accurate to the particular representations i just cannot recommend each individual one they look off the charge man they're pretty much a must have all of them are and let's go ahead and move on to the decepticons here we have shatter and uh drop kids so you guys can see you know how they look uh you know with the uh decepticons together and man just like the autobots they look really really accurate and they scale fantastically together obviously they're the smaller foe and he is the bigger one and just they look incredible i just cannot wait to have the, the pretty much the entire cast man soundwave ratchet iron high will you mentioned it all of them man i just cannot wait but with that being said that's pretty much it for the comparison again like i mentioned on the intro i'm not gonna be transforming this guy because pretty much everybody knows how to transform this guy by now i'm just gonna go ahead and jump straight into the secret mode if you don't know how to transform this awesome figure i'm gonna go ahead and leave you a link in the description up below as well as in the upper corner of this video that video is pretty much uh the uh, star screen video and on that video i pretty much break the entire thing on detail you know the articulation the transformation everything you want to know is there so let's go ahead and jump straight into the secret mode for the secret mode you can see the skull tendon detail and pain distribution translates through the wall into the secret mode itself just overall looks fantastic the amount of detail that this guy is rocking is just off the charge and i do appreciate appreciate the bigger Decepticon logo that this guy is rocking but other than that man pretty much everything else is just a copy and paste we already know what this guy can offer and what it's rocking and what it's not but you can also see that the weapon just like Starscream translates really well uh, and it looks fantastic as well as the uh, no rays themselves look just off the charge I know that this mall is just uh, kind of love and hate by the collectors community you know the Transformers enthusiasts uh, it's just for me it's not that big of a deal I honestly in all about it I, I love the Cybertronian look that this guy is rocking but just uh, it's, it's just no biggie man it's just nothing special as you can see it's pretty much more of the same but just jumping straight into the comparison between him and Starscream so you guys can see you know what I'm talking about as you can see it's pretty much exactly the same you know from the front the sides the uh you know the back and the bottom it's everything is just the same you can see the weapon translates the same way and you know on the sides you can appreciate that bigger uh Decepticon logo and that smaller uh Decepticon logo on Starscream and on the back you can see you know the proportions uh look exactly the same as well as the 
thrusters and all that good stuff you can go ahead and put some effects there it looks incredible and on the other side obviously it's the same as the opposite from the top you can see and appreciate you know that nice sculpted and detail that they're rocking up there uh but just other than that man there's nothing else to say about this mall on uh you know seeker mode or vehicle mode whatever you want to call this guy uh because again it's just pretty much the same the only difference is the colors but just it, it looks fantastic man just imagine a couple more on a display together you go ahead and just uh displaying flying or something like that man they're gonna look fantastic but for me personally i'm just gonna go ahead and display it on raw mode because that's how i like my figures to display uh but just this mode it looks fantastic and it looks incredible next to star screen that being said i've been just to the end of the video as always leave your thoughts in the comments down below i'm really interested in knowing your opinion on the subject especially about thrust you have the same problems of me on the face or you think it's okay but that's pretty much it for the whole thing i hope you enjoy if you did please leave a like it will help you to our gonna house my videos get up in a while so if you get anything any body anime content please subscribe and i will see you on the next video but this is pretty much it for transformer studio series 76 boyer thrust Oh